the Uptown is quite unique. One thing I really love about the Uptown is the diversity. It's a very niche community. It's an eclectic collection of businesses. When we're able to be out and playing, Richland it was one of the stronger areas to actually have music going full time. It's kind of unique, I would say. I've been here a long time. The people who love the Uptown are very loyal to us. The customers primarily are pretty awesome. They love what we sell and we get to talk to them about it. Um, it's a wide variety of things that we sell, so it's a lot of different types of people. Our community is so supportive of local small business. It's uh, a pretty tight community. I feel like people really want to see the Uptown succeed. They want to have these fun, different businesses come in and give our city something exciting to do and a place to go and walk around and have little day trips. Hi, my name is Wendy Christensen. Um, I've currently owned, it's the name of the store is the Uptown Antique Market. I've owned it for three years. A lot of times this is called an antique mall. So I have all these little businesses under my roof and they decorate their own space and they price everything and then you can come in and shop from each different vendor. This is Fanatics Tropical Fish. Uh, I bought this store existing about three years ago. Uh, I have an enthusiast for the fish hobby for the last, I don't know, my entire life. Worked in and out of that hobby for pretty much my entire adult career and finally got around to actually buying my own shop. Uh, really excited to be here to be able to offer uh, exotic fish in our location. Well, my name is Dick Ward and this is uh, Music Unlimited, WeebyMusic.com. We've been in the area since 1983. Changed names a couple of times. I took over the business in 2011, and I've been here ever since. We're a full-line music store, so we sell anything and everything music-related. Our strong suits have been sheet music, printed music, accessories. The only thing we really don't do much with, because we don't have a whole lot of space for it, is things with black and white keys to them. We are a full-service flower shop. We've been here 23 years. We have two greeters, two white Samoyed dogs that their job is to greet people when they come in. They probably have more of a following than we do. They're an important asset to our shop. My name is Amanda Devine. I'm the owner of the store. Uh, my heart is in books. That's how I got started with the store, founding it in 1999. Uh, we've got books and comics and games and records, hobby stuff, children's toys, an associated coffee shop. So it's grown significantly since just books. There is an interesting backstory on this because my daughter used to take piano lessons right around the corner from this shop. And so every Thursday I'd call it my Uptown Girl Day. I'd come down here to the Uptown and I would just have fun and check out the shops. And I discovered this shop and the owner. Fast forward quite a few years, I followed her on Facebook and she needed someone to work one day a week and so I volunteered. And I'd only worked four times and she approached me and said she wanted to sell the store. I told her no because it scared me and I was like, no, I really, I'm not looking to own a retail store. Anyway, I found myself waking up in the middle of the night and I couldn't stop thinking about it. And usually that's a sign when you can't stop thinking about something, you should probably do it. <laughs> so here I am, I bought the store and I'm three years in and I have loved it. So the beginning of my odyssey with uh, tropical fish goes back to when I was seven years old. For Christmas I got a 15 gallon tank and it was like the most amazing thing I'd ever seen. I was a middle child and the idea that I got the biggest gift under the tree that year was just blew my mind. So the uh, next week we went to the first time I'd ever been to a tropical fish store. I saw all the fish that I saw in the books and I was hooked from that time on. As far as anything new with the store. We've been here, uh, like I said, since 1983. I've been working here since 1991. And when the former owner passed away, I took it over. So we're currently the longest running music store 
in the Tri-Cities area. There, there hasn't been anybody here longer than we have been. Holidays are stressful because it's very, very busy, but on an everyday basis, we're still busy, but not quite as busy as a holiday. What drew me to this place was the culture. I'm obviously becoming good friends with Amanda. Books is also, uh, it's one of my passions. I love reading. It, it's very exciting working here. One thing I really love about the Uptown is the diversity. I love to go to the different restaurants. Wu's Teriyaki is a favorite of mine. I love the crepes place. I love some bagels. I love the Spud Nut Shop. That's been around forever. I think it's the oldest business in the city of Richland. And you can jump over there and get a cinnamon roll or a Spud Nut, and that is always fun. The Uptown is a lot of fun because it's a little slice of history. I'm just doing a remodel project here. We'll come across the layers of different people's dreams right here in this space or in the next space over. But this building has been here since probably the 1950s. It's in the paint and the walls. There's just history all around it. I love that I am part of a collection of vintage shops here in the Uptown. There's Ragtime and Hunt and Gather, uh, myself and Patina, and we'll often collaborate and have really great events. Like this building, I believe, was originally okay. built as a J.C. Penney's. There used to be a balcony that people, there was a second level to the shop. I think some of it was designed to help be protection from the bomb. Um, like the way the building, the whole uptown was designed and the angles and the brick and stuff like that. Um, there's a number of underground, not under us, but a number of other underground areas, I believe, that were bomb shelters. I don't have accurate information on that, but that's, that's the rumor of the uptown. There's integral parts of every building and it's interesting to see all different rooms and stuff like that, especially how, with how old they are. Um, that's been a really um, great thing that's touched my heart about owning a business, a small business, is um, our community is so supportive of local small business. And I see that every time I have an event, the support is wonderful. I, I feel like I always get a hug from the community by the local love and support. So yeah, and I have a lot of customers that travel in from out of town as well. Lots of them, Montana, Idaho. They make trips to come in and just uh, feel the happy vibe that's here and enjoy the uptown. So that's been a fun part of owning this business. So what I like about the uptown is it's a very niche community. The people who love the uptown are very loyal to us. It's not uncommon for me to be here late and see people just still doing the walk around, uh, still driving through the lot, even in late hours of the evening. We know many of the other business owners around the uptown. I'll be in another shop talking to a business owner and see my customers here that are also you know, at one of the other boutiques in the center. The music community in Richland is most is very cliquish. There's friends to everybody, but some people will only play in certain areas with, with certain kind of people. And it's the nature of the beast with it around here. When we're able to be out and playing, Richland it was one of the stronger areas to actually have music going full time. I would hear people talking about Emerald Siam, mostly independent or uh, classic music, oldies music. Uh, Whiskey River, uh, they were running jam nights every Thursday night, very popular. It's a nice central location for people in Richland to actually be able to, to come around and, and easily access. The Uptown is quite unique, so we're happy to see more and more people coming into this. We handle a wide variety of gifts also, plush animals, baby gifts. We deliver to the full Tri-Cities. It's kind of unique, I would say. I've been here a long time, so customers primarily are pretty awesome. They love what we sell and we get to talk to them about it. Primarily it's people who like Things that we can call nerdums, like passions about books or comics. Usually they, sometimes they know more than we do about things um, and can talk for a long time about it. We definitely we, learn a lot from our customers yeah. and the aspect of what they want and what they need. If you're into vinyl records, this is a hub for vinyl records. I sell them at my store. Adventures Underground has them. Hunt and Gather has a really great section in the back of their store for vinyl records, which is really a trending thing right now, but I don't think it'll ever go out of style because I love vinyl records. So we swapped the records that were in the cafe with the game room where we used to just have dedicated gaming and events. 
and now we have beer on tap in the cafe and, and sandwiches, paninis, and we're hoping to expand our menu for soups and stuff like that. But basically, now we have a real cafe and people can drink and play board games. And we built a little stage so we can have live music and stuff. So we're fully planning to go full hog and it would be amazing. So I love to play old music. You can always hear Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra, Doris Day, the 40s pretty much is, is what's playing in here. And I feel like that creates an atmosphere that's just reminiscent of days gone by. And, and it helps you feel uh, like you've gone back in time. And don't we all need a place where we can go that gives us a little escape from everyday life? Uh, we do value our customers and our employees and treat everybody like a person. We want to connect with them on a real level rather than just being here you want fries with that robot selling widgets type of thing. I mean, basically we love what we carry and what we offer and we love our people. Well, who is my favorite fish? Man, that's like asking me which one of my kids is my favorite, but we have a lot of favorites here. Stanley, we call him Flat Stanley is our stingray. I've had him since he was a little puppy. He's about half size now and he's a fan favorite. Definitely one of mine. He's like having a little puppy. The draw to music for most people is that it's a universal language. You don't have to be able to speak it to understand what it's saying. You hear music in pretty much anything and everything around you. It doesn't matter what you're doing. If you listen to, say, like a TV show or a movie and there's no music in it, a lot of times it's very distracting or boring. Your mind starts to wander off of it. But when the, the music comes into it and plays even just softly behind it, there's more attention, more depth into what's actually going on. Also, Martha, our puffer, uh, she's an imbu puffer, which is the giant freshwater puffer. She's also a fan favorite and she's so interactive. When I come over to do a video for her, she gets all excited and just can't wait to be part of the action. The truth is though, I haven't met a fish I don't like. We have 180 tanks of freshwater fish here and I got 180 favorite tanks. So I love antiques because I feel like the quality and the art that's in the antique is just reminiscent of days gone by. It's kind of romantic in a way to see what stood the test of time and what's still around. And I know that's what draws people into the shop. They love to feel uh, the comfort of things that they had um, in other parts of time. So I always tell people, be prepared to bump into your past because it's in here. <laughs> Um, one gentleman was here one day and he was in the back of the store and big old tears were just rolling down his face and I went back I said, can I help you with something? Is What's going on? And I said, maybe you've bumped into something in here. And he said, yeah, I bumped into a sled that I used to, it's the same sled that I went sledding on as a child with my brother. And he said, it just brought back so many happy memories. And, and that was sweet to me. And I hear stories like that all the time of items that people bumped into, like dishes they ate on when they were at their mother's, or dishes they ate on when they were at their grandmother's, or toys they played with, or a light fixture that reminded them of, you know, visiting an aunt's house or something like that. So yeah, I love antiques, I love vintage items, uh, the quality, the charm that's in them, they're one-of-a-kind pieces. It's exciting to see people have a passion for antiques and vintage like I do. I feel like our number one thing is our happy vibe. I really love to make every single person feel welcome and I want their experience in my store to be happy. All of my vendors are really brilliant at displaying their items. Each little shop is just beautifully laid out and displayed and things are clean and organized and priced really well and and um, I think that's what's fun. Everyone comes in and says this is like so nurturing and happy and and I feel like, uh, I feel blessed that I get to provide that kind of atmosphere for every person, hopefully, that walks through my door and, and has an experience with us here at the Uptown Antique Market. So I'm an entrepreneur. I've been an entrepreneur for most of my working career. I have a, another small business in the old part of Richland, and I started that 22 years ago, my late wife. Uh, buying this business as a second business here in the Uptown has been a real journey for me. Uh, from going, from doing something that I enjoyed and paid the bills to something that I really was always wanting to do. I don't have to answer to anybody. I, I don't have to take directions from somebody that, that I might not agree with. Drawback is, is that if I make a mistake, it's all on me. I don't have anything else to say about it. We work with some of the prettiest things 
Uh, almost every day there's new flowers that come in. It always smells nice and we see them before almost anyone else. With the change of seasons, we're usually the first ones to have them. In that sense, it, it is always fun. Just thank you for the support, uh, especially through the pandemic. Uh, and we're gonna continue to grow and see where we can take us in the future. Yeah. So we're, we're pretty excited. Yeah, we got a lot of good people on board and uh, with Gary now taking over a bunch of organization and leadership, but I think we're headed in a really good direction to uh, offering the Tri-Cities kind of books and hobbies and community building things that we love. I am so grateful for anyone who walks through my door. I feel like, you know, you can't have a small business without people walking through your door or supporting you. And um, it's just been a really great adventure for me. I've learned a ton about myself, <laughs> about business, about running things, and about just uh, contributing to the community with good events and happy vibe and all that. So it's been a good adventure.